We did the on the go water softener. Mm -hmm. We did the Berkey. Yes. And we did the Clear 2.0 water filtration system. Mm -hmm. And so now it's been a little over six months. Yes. And we're going to talk about how these are working, if they're still working, if we still like them, and if we recommend them. Well, by the look on your face, <laughs> I think some things have changed. <laughs> Well, a little over six months ago, we did a video talking about RV water. Uh -huh. We were having several issues with RV water, like taste, hardness of water. We? Well, we. you had issues with the hardness of the water. The I had hardness. issues with the taste of the water. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we had okay. issues with our water. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we hit it like a triad of, of things. Yeah. All at once. We did the on-the-go water softener. Mm-hmm. We did the Berkey, yes. and we did the Clear 2.0 water filtration system. Mm -hmm. And so now it's been a little over six months, yes. and we're going to talk about how these are working, if they're still working, if we still like them, and if we recommend them. Well, by the look on your face, <laughs> I think some things have changed. <laughs> yeah, so we will start with the Berkey. Okay. Um, we only use the Berkey for ice and for drinking water yeah so we we cannot get water from the faucet and correct. put it into the Berkey correct so that's really the only downfall that we've had with the Berkey is we have to take a jug go outside fill it from the spigot yeah. and then pour it into the Berkey because if you put softened water into the Berkey it will clog the filters more quickly yes and they're expensive to replace mm -hmm. and it won't be as effective of a filter yeah if you run softened water. But it through. takes like two minutes to go out there, fill up a, a quart yeah. a jug and come back. So. And because we're only using it for our ice and for our drinking water, we don't have to do it that often. No. Because for cooking and everything ice else. straight out of the faucet. It's going to boil anyway. Yeah. So it's not that big of a deal. So do we still like the Berkey? Absolutely. Yes. And we're going to continue using yes. the Berkey. We love it. Um, we'll leave a link in the description for everything that we recommend today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if you want to go and get some of it for your own. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is the Clear 2.0 filtering system. So this yes. replaced our blue Camco filter, yes. which is just looks like this piece only blue. Mm -hmm. This has a whole system. Filters out large particles, filters out smaller particles, and filters out way more than the Camco filter because it's a solid carbon, carbon. core, yeah. the filter. Now, the perk that we saw to this was that it will last for up to six months at a time. Yeah. The Camcos only last about three months. Yeah. Yeah. These are a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but if you have to replace it only every six months, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Plus, yeah. it filters way more, more smaller particles. Yeah. So we thought this would be a good deal. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> about three months into the deal, we started noticing a loss of water pressure. Drastic. Which we didn't notice when we first got it. No. Seemed fine. And it, it just... Got worse. Tapered worse. a little, little to where worse. it was then. This can't be right. It should not take this long to fill something up. Or take a shower. Or take a shower. Yeah. yeah. So we took this off. We put the blue Camco filter back on. Immediately pressure returned. Shot right back up. So even though this will last for six months in filtration after about three months you're going to lose the pressure and you're going to have to replace this anyway every three months and yeah. it's more expensive yeah so for us the water pressure was more important Four. than the filtration because we have the berkey for stuff that we put in our mouth yeah and we have the uh water softener for to soften the water so that nice to have but if you have to replace it every three months um for us not really worth it. We'd rather have the water pressure. Yeah, because a uh, lower water pressure in the shower meant my showers were longer. Which we're using more water. Yeah, so it was defeating any purpose, really. Yeah. Except we're filtering out the tiniest speck of something, but at a bigger cost. So you kind of have to decide what's more important to you. If the filtration is more important to you, just know that after about three months, you're going to lose pressure. You're going to have to replace it anyway. And 
the usage. We're full timers. Yeah. It's a big difference. Yeah, if you're a part timer, you could probably get away with using this for you know that could six last months a to very a year. Long time. I mean, if yeah. you're only going out on you know weekends every other month or something like yes. that, it will last you a lot longer. And it might be a good solution for you. But for full timers, we want our water pressure. Yeah, I need my shower. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about the on-the-go water softener. I didn't bring it in. Well, uh, for obvious <laughs> reasons, it weighs a ton. <laughs> <laughs> How are you liking the on-the-go water softening system? Loving the softener. Yeah, it's been working, working really well. We have stainless steel sinks. So hard water stains show. So it's very noticeable when the softener is working and when it needs to be recharged. Yes. And when the, start, the spots start making their <laughs> predominant way She's back. She's like, you need to go recharge that. I look at the counter, I'm like, yep, it is coming up in a couple days. It's due to get changed. Yeah, so there, that, the perk is soft water. It feels softer on your skin. skin yeah. It doesn't stain our stuff, stuff. our shower door, and our sinks. Yeah. So, but the downfall is, um, it's not really too bad of a downfall. You have to recharge it every once every five weeks for us. For us, we had to find that spot. It yeah. depends on your usage. So for us, how about, much water you're using? Yeah, living full time, about every once every five weeks, and it's really easy. You unscrew the top. You put the the, the, the thing that's salt in. Yeah. It's the regular table salt, yeah. iodized or not, it doesn't even matter. You put that salt in there. And then, but you have to run uh, a slow trickle yes. and then a full That's on going. open water going through it. Yeah. Now, that's the downfall mm -hmm. because campgrounds don't like that. Some, yeah. So I. Especially like when being in California yeah. where water is a scarce source and it's very, it's like gold to them. Yeah. So we didn't want to recharge while we were in <laughs> California because we're like, oh my God, they're going to shame us. Well, even here now we got to Vegas, I just recharged it a couple of days ago. I did it at night. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't, I mean, because you have to leave it at a slow trickle for about 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah. And then you have to open it up wide open for about five to eight minutes. Yeah. That's a lot of water leaking out from it under your RV. It, it, it gets some t attention. Yeah. People are like, there's water like well, pouring out of the. California was mostly dirt. So yeah. So it just make mud. So it would have made a mess. At least here it's going into rocks. So it's. Yeah. It's hidden a little bit better. So once every five weeks you gotta recharge it, that's the downfall. But other yeah. than that, great. We definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. Again, we'll leave a link to that down in the description below. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is because we heard, we heard about this. This is a TDS monitor and it monitors total dissolvable solids yeah. in your water. And this basically tells you if your water is safe to drink. So we were curious. And, and, a, and a, a follower, Rick, yeah, thanks for letting us have this, Rick. Yes, gave us this to, to use. And, and it has been interesting information. It has. So uh, basically, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you just turn it on, take the cap off, stick it down your water. It has a little chart on the back that tells you what your readings need to be to be safe water. Anything 400 and below um, is okay. 200 to 400 is marginal. Anything 100 or less is, is good. Okay. So what we did was we have water from the spigot outside. Mm -hmm. We have water from directly faucet. from the faucet that's just going through the on-the-go uh, watering system or on-the-go softening system. And then we have Berkey. So we have samples of each of these waters. We haven't tested this at all since we've been here in, in Nevada. In Nevada. Yeah. Uh, we did test it in California just to kind of see how this worked and get familiar with it. Yeah. But we're curious to see what our levels are at for yes. total dissolvable solids in our water. So this one over here is out of the spigot. And I'll stick that in there. Pretty, uh, pretty high. 352. Ooh. So 352 tells me there's red. <laughs> a lot of total dissolvable solids in our water. Here's the thing though. It doesn't tell you what solid is dissolved in your water. That's true, because there are there's good, good solids, solids. And then there's bad solids. So yeah, I can't tell the difference, but there's good and there's bad. And so this might have good solids in it. Yes. But even with good solids, anything over 400 is not good because you don't want that much stuff so, in yeah. your water. All right, now we're gonna test the Berkey water. Okay. All right, the Berkey water says 394. Really? Now, you might think that's bad, okay? Yeah. But the Berkey system actually filters out bad, bad solids yes. and yeah. injects the good solids. Good solids. That's true. So as long as your number is close 
to the number that is coming straight mm -hmm. out of the spigot, you know that it's taking out some of the bad stuff, put in some of the good stuff, and the number should be about what it is. Gotcha. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your water is bad, and you can definitely taste the difference of water through the Berkey from the spigot. So I know good stuff's going in, bad stuff's coming out. Yeah. So if you use one of these and say, oh, well, it's almost 400 with my Berkey, was my Berkey not filtering anything? It is. It's just transferring the good from the bad. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't know that the on-the-go... The softener? Yeah, I don't know if the softener does anything, anything with total solids. But, you know, when you put in the salt, salt, salt is a dissolvable solid. Yeah. So it's it might even add to. It could. So we'll see what it looks like straight out of the faucet going through the on-the-go oh, system. Yeah. I was correct. <laughs> 461. Woo! Coming That's through the faucet. Salt. Because you have the in the 390s, and yeah. then you add the salt, salt, another total dissolvable solid, and it makes that number high. Yeah. So I wouldn't recommend drinking water straight out of the faucet with the on-the-go system. Um, I would definitely recommend getting some kind of a filtration system like the Berkey for drinking and for ice. Worst case, a Breda filter. You know, yeah. Something that filters. So overall, happiness with our water situation set up? Yes. Now that we are back to the blue filter and we have water pressure, yeah. all is right in our world. Yeah, everything else is working really great. Yes. You're very happy with your water taste. Very happy because I'm very picky with And ice taste. cubes because we make our ice cubes with that too because... Because you don't want nasty water getting in your good drinking water and making the nasty taste. No, you don't want that. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Only you notice the difference. That's what. Why yeah, you're... I have a very sensitive palate. Yes, you do. <laughs> But if you're happy, I'm happy. I am happy with the bird. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy. You're happy with the water softener. Softener, yes. Neither of us was happy with the clear 2 water filter. No, I, which is a bummer because I was really stoked about that one. Had it lasted for this whole six months and maintained pressure, we'd still be on board. Yeah, it's the water pressure that's a problem, which I, I get it. It's a solid carbon, so it has to work harder to get yeah. through it didn't really think about it when we got got it and hooked it up that it would affect water pressure yeah and that was my main concern when we first hooked it up but right out the gate it was it, fine it was good but it just yeah. kept getting it, gradually and gradually worse to where we were like man yeah it doesn't feel like the water's coming so out. at the beginning of the video i said we're going to leave links to in the description for everything that we recommend however mm -hmm. we are going to leave links to all three of these products because even though the clear tool is not for us for us it may be for you like you said if you're a weekender yes or if your priority is you know filtration versus pressure it might be right for you so we're not gonna just dismiss it no it's just not right for us yeah so I'm happy with our water yeah that's it we hope this helped because a lot of times we see people who do product reviews once right out the gate you never hear anything about it again like did it work sure. is it still working do you still recommend it like how's yeah. it working the long term so after mm -hmm. six months i think we got a real good gauge of yes our did. situation mm -hmm. and we're gonna keep this set up we're gonna rock it leave us a comment let us know what your setup is or if you use any of this stuff for filtration or if this video has made you decide that you need to go get one of these things <laughs> to improve your water quality or taste mm -hmm. yeah and stick around for a few seconds because we're gonna honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the yep. video. Appreciate you watching. Enjoy your water. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.